Elon Musk can't actually afford to buy Twitter? Being the world's richest person has numerous benefits, especially if you're Elon Musk. Affording everything isn't possible. Your closeness adds worth to everything you touch, making it harder to lose money. Your millions of Twitter followers will see it, as will millions who don't follow you on the new website that you acquired. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing Elon Musk can't actually afford to buy Twitter? Yeah, you heard it right. So let's get started with our video. Being you have disadvantages. The SEC may be watching you, even if they can't locate you. People will accuse you because being affluent requires smearing yourself, but spuds. Rich enough not to care, Elon Musk could acquire Dictionary.com. But there's more. People with social media issues are like the world's richest people. Make an impulsive buy. Last week, I created two of these $30 sunglasses from a brand that doesn't use capitals or consonants. For three weeks, I won't miss them, but not with Elon Cash. It's huge. In the last several months, he acquired one of the world's largest social networking sites with over 200 million. With a net worth of $44 billion, you can't afford to ignore it. Elon Musk isn't going broke if this fails. His danger is great getting his favorite website. His 172 million Tesla shares valued at over $1,000 a piece account for over $170 billion of his net wealth, though they were failing in the hour after Twitter announced Musk was buying it. He lacks $44 billion in cash and borrows $25.5 billion from banks. It is backed by $62.5 billion in Tesla stock, representing 35-40% to of his stake in the company he based his life. Without repayment, Musk's Tesla stock would be diluted. He'd had it. In any case, Twitter's massive user base isn't always profitable. No worries, if Twitter loses money, maybe the banks recognize they benefit from doing business with the world's richest guy. If his rocket company, SpaceX, ever goes public, the banks must have thought about the IPO and its enormous expenses. Musk is rich enough that even a SpaceX failure has few consequences. Musk is a poster boy. He likes communicating with his fans on Twitter. That's what most people would do if they had his money. I'd buy the Pittsburgh Pirates, spend a fortune on players, and assure them no illegal or unethical means or drugs. Musk's record on a free expression doesn't always support him, but Musk owned Twitter? I'm not sure. It would make Twitter more receptive to anti-vaccine and anti-insurrectionist talking points while also owning the libs. That would surely make Twitter more chaotic and harm elite political discourse, but not detritus. Individual users may still be able to block and mute their way out of trouble. Even Twitter's minimal guard rails haven't helped many users. Musk lovers managing Twitter's moderation. That'll be quick. Despite warning bots, he could do nothing and let Twitter become a haven for spammers, child abusers, and others. This way, he may remove the block button from all accounts but his own. Read Tesla's employees' DMs and give himself, and only himself, an edit button that applies to both of his and your tweets. Toutful. Too many Twitter haters would be bad for a firm that already isn't profitable. I won't leave Twitter unless Musk bans me. Don't, Mr. Musk, my work. Like Elon, I'm a pig trapped in Twitter's muck. There are millions more addicted to Twitter and prepared to pay a premium fee to keep using it. The most crucial among them wouldn't. Could an anarchist social media network with no moderation attract advertisers? Nobody pays Twitter 89 cents for each dollar produced. The NRA can only buy so much advertising to make up for lost income. Musk may not mind Twitter's losses. Even his lenders may not object because he's Elon Musk and they are bankers. To avoid it, Elon Musk must engage in content policing, which he appears to dislike. That is Musk's best case scenario as Twitter's king. A conservative celebrity's Twitter suspension will undoubtedly spark a heated discussion. Anyone, in 2026, let's say, a white nationalist detonates a bomb at an official government building to incite racial conflict. Maybe not that person. According to Fox News presenters, explosives are an expression, but someone with a vast, crazy following. Then his Twitter buddy will vanish. Maybe not. Musk is a well-known person outside of Twitter, so he won't worry if Twitter users start to despise him. Not to mention he just bought Twitter. He's got the whole nut house. While some may argue that a terrible day on Twitter isn't real life, spending $44 billion on anything makes it so. I wish Musk luck taking over a 200 million strong social network two years before the presidential election in 2024. Musk didn't plan this. His future's tense, annoying, and costly. To gain money, become a global symbol of free speech, or have a little more fun online with his Tuesday morning coffee? Not fully considering his mid-April offer to Twitter, which had no hint of payment, the board dismissed him and enforced a poison pill to prevent him from gaining control. I write about Musk buying my daily website two weeks later. Last. 
Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how today's video was. I really hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more like this, please consider subscribing for more and don't forget to provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.